Musk recently said, The next five starships are ready to fly. We're just waiting for regulatory approval. Musk's statement reflects his growing frustration with the delays caused by government regulations. And he's not wrong. It's a bit ironic that SpaceX can build one of the most advanced rockets in history faster than it can get the paperwork approved to launch it. Unfortunately, this is the exact situation Starship finds itself in right now. The primary issue holding up Starship's next flight is waiting for approval from the FAA. Specifically, the holdup is due to an ongoing environmental review process that is delaying the launch even though the spacecraft is ready to go. This has become such a concern that NASA, Congress, and even some industry leaders are now urging the FAA to speed up the process and allow Starship to take off. This situation brings to mind an interesting question. If we had faced such strict regulatory frameworks back in the early days of space exploration, would we have been able to achieve groundbreaking missions like Apollo or the shuttle program? It's worth reflecting on how space missions were once carried out under much different circumstances, where speed and innovation were prioritized over long and drawn-out bureaucratic processes. For example, the Apollo missions were launched with incredible urgency. The entire program spanned less than a decade, and between 1968 and 1972, NASA managed to send a total of 11 manned missions to space, six of which landed on the moon. This all took place during an era when space technology was still in its infancy and the risks were extraordinarily high. Yet, the Apollo program operated under a fast-moving framework where critical decisions and approvals were made quickly. The country was focused on one goal, beating the Soviets to the moon. Later, the space shuttle program was another example of how NASA, despite the risks, managed to launch an unprecedented number of missions in quick succession. Between 1981 and 2011, NASA completed 135 shuttle missions, with some years seeing multiple launches just months apart. In the mid-1980s, shuttle launches occurred as frequently as every couple of months. This speed allowed the shuttle program to play a crucial role in constructing the International Space Station and in deploying key satellites. Now, let's compare that with the situation today. Starship has been ready for its next test flight for several months, yet it remains grounded, awaiting regulatory approval. Musk has openly expressed frustration with how long it takes to launch a single Starship mission. In the past year alone, Starship has faced multiple months-long delays just due to paperwork. These delays are largely tied to environmental assessments and other regulations introduced in recent years. If similar delays had occurred during the Space Shuttle era, it's difficult to imagine the same level of rapid progress. At the height of the Space Shuttle program, launches were happening so frequently that it felt like NASA had created a routine for getting humans and cargo into space. The shuttle was key to launching and maintaining the Hubble Space Telescope and assembling the ISS, contributing significantly to scientific discoveries. But now, in contrast, SpaceX's Starship is waiting for months at a time between flights, not because of technological challenges, but because of regulations. Now every eye is on the next Starship launch and whether the FAA will allow it to take off on time. Originally scheduled for August 2024, SpaceX's fifth Starship flight has been delayed due to regulatory hurdles, with a new target launch date of late November. The FAA has had to perform an in-depth environmental review, focusing on recent changes made by SpaceX, such as the addition of the hot staging ring. This ring, designed to improve the efficiency of stage separation, has introduced new environmental and safety concerns, especially since it will be dropped into the Gulf of Mexico. But it's not just regulatory delays that have contributed to the longer preparation time. SpaceX has added several new and complex objectives for this flight, including an attempt to catch the Super Heavy booster mid-air using the launch tower's arms. This ambitious move, if successful, would be a major step toward making Starship a fully reusable rocket, but it also adds layers of technical complexity. Despite the FAA granting licenses for multiple launches under the same mission profile, SpaceX's modifications triggered a more detailed review.
This has fueled frustration among both SpaceX and industry leaders, who argue that the U.S. could fall behind in the global space race if regulatory obstacles continue to slow down innovation. Industry leaders have proposed several ways to improve the FAA's regulatory process, which has been slowing down launches for companies like SpaceX. One major suggestion is to extend the 180-day evaluation period to include some of the pre-application work. Right now, companies have to wait for this period to start only after they submit a complete application. By extending the evaluation to cover earlier parts of the process, the FAA would have more time to review the details, which could speed things up later. This approach would give companies a head start in addressing potential issues while they finalize their applications. Another idea is to allow companies to use the older, simpler regulations until the FAA provides clearer guidelines for its newer, more complex rules. Currently, many companies are struggling to comply with the new regulations because they lack enough advisory documents explaining how to meet the requirements. By temporarily using the older rules, companies would have clearer instructions to follow, which could reduce confusion and speed up the approval process. These suggestions aim to fix the lengthy back-and-forth that's been happening between companies and the FAA, where unclear rules lead to delays. Many in the industry feel that the FAA's newer rules, which are designed to give companies more flexibility, have actually made the process more complicated. To address these concerns, the FAA has created a new committee to work directly with companies and refine the regulations, making them easier to follow. It's not just the space industry that's growing frustrated with the delays. Congress is also raising serious concerns. Representative Brian Babin from Texas described the FAA's licensing process as moving at a snail's pace, while Representative Haley Stevens from Michigan called it bureaucratic soup, referring to the tangled mess of paperwork and regulations that slow everything down. This frustration is particularly critical given the NASA Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon. The program heavily relies on SpaceX's Starship and Blue Origins landers for crucial components of the mission. However, ongoing delays caused by FAA regulations are making some members of Congress nervous about whether the U.S. can maintain its leadership in space. One of the biggest concerns is the growing competition with China. China has been rapidly advancing its space program, completing multiple lunar missions, including sample returns from the moon. Their plans are ambitious. They aim to send astronauts to the moon by 2029. Given the current delays with Artemis III, which is now pushed to 2026, some fear that China might beat the U.S. to the moon. Congress members are worried that if the U.S. continues to experience delays, it could lose its competitive edge in the new space race. The stakes are high. NASA officials, including Bill Nelson, have repeatedly emphasized that the U.S. cannot afford to let China take the lead in lunar exploration. The moon is seen as a potential hub for future exploration and even mining, with resources like water ice being crucial for longer missions. Whoever establishes a presence there first could potentially dictate the future of lunar activities. Now we've got a little surprise for you. We've put together limited edition, highly realistic Starship models available exclusively on eBay for our loyal viewers. If you've watched this far, it means you're truly dedicated to all things space and we want to reward that loyalty. So don't wait. Click the link in the description below and grab your Starship model before they run out. This is your chance to own a piece of the future. Hurry before they're all gone. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.